2022 was a life-changing year for me. I gained over 400,000 followers on TikTok. Had my videos go viral, I started prioritizing my mental health and really made significant changes to my outlook on life. So if you want to learn about how manifesting and law of attraction can change your life as well as creating a vision board, just keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nariman and today I will be helping you make your dreams come true. This is This is a vision board that I made in this video. I am going to show you how to make one. It's really easy. It's just a way to show your goals and dreams in a vision board. <laughs> just so you can look at it every single day. This video has four parts. The first part is me discussing what is manifesting. The second part is a law of attraction. The third part will be me actually searching for these photos online and how I actually edit them. And the fourth part will be creating the vision board. Feel free to skip to any part that you want. If you don't want to see what manifesting is and you already know what that is, you can skip to the end and watch the vision board. Hello everyone. Look, I've never made a vision board before, but I thought it would be fun if I did because like, you know, I want to manifest my dream life in 2023. By the way, I'm doing my makeup as I'm describing to you what manifesting is. If you want to see my makeup routine, I filmed a get ready with me slash q and I'll link it down below. So basically, I have tried manifesting before and I was a bit skeptical. Not gonna lie because the stuff I was seeing online was stupid. It was dumb. Like, I'd see people say, right, I'm getting a million dollars in a bottle. And then the next day, you're going to get a million dollars. And it's like, that's not, no, that's, that's like witchcraft. <laughs> There's a proper definition for manifesting. But to me, it's basically changing your mentality and believing you can do something. Instead of having a negative mentality thinking, I'm never gonna be successful because then you're not gonna put the actions after it. What's important is the actions after the affirmation. So for instance, you say, I'm going to open a successful business and I'm going to get a million dollars, right? You're already putting yourself in that headspace thinking, I am successful, right? So you have the thought and right after you have the action. The action is very important. You can't just have the thought Otherwise, it's it's pointless. So I'm gonna get you the actual definition. It means to create something or turn something from an idea into a reality. In psychology, manifestation generally means using our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs to bring something to our physical reality. It's just basically changing your mindset. I've noticed when I think and I believe that I can do something, it ends up happening. Like I have manifested going viral on TikTok, and then my action was I kept posting consistently. I kept trying different videos like that was the action but i had the thought first if i thought to myself i'm never gonna be, be successful on tiktok then i never will because i'm not gonna be putting the effort the idea is you have this thought and you keep saying it to yourself until you really believe it you have the actions and you kind of just trust god or the universe or whatever to do the rest for you 2023 because i am focusing a lot on my career and my youtube journey and tiktok i really want to manifest and have a vision board where i can say this is what i want and this is what i will achieve i wanted to discuss the law of attraction basically the law of attraction means is positive thoughts equals positive experiences negative thoughts equals negative experiences if i am showing gratitude and I am showing self-belief, self-confidence, then subconsciously or consciously, I'm going to be finding the positives and experiences, learning from different situations, going after my goals. Whereas if I'm negative and pessimistic, I'm probably not gonna be doing all those things, which makes a lot of sense because yeah, like what I said before, manifesting is, it's basically thoughts and actions put together. I'm gonna cut to the next part of the video where I show you the manifestations that I have for 2023, the photos and how I make my vision board. Okay, what you first want to do is create a list. I just thought about all of the things that I want and I noted them down as they came. It's all about work for me this year. I really want to build my platform. That is my main goal. You could also see that I'm prioritizing mental health, love, friendship and all of 
everything here. The next step is to find photos that symbolize all of these manifestations. Okay, so the next step is to go on Pinterest and search anything that was on this list. For YouTube, I just searched YouTube and I scrolled down and seen any logos that I want, anything I want to save. As you can see, I searched up YouTube logo and then this is what came up and I'm pretty sure I saved... I just saved this one, but you can use the pink one if you want. Another really good tip is to just search up vision board and see what people have already made. Like this person had, has made this one. There's money, there's graduation, there's travel. For the main quote, I chose if not you, then who? But you can choose any quote you want. You can search up vision board quotes. You can search up motivational quotes. Yeah, just anything. Confidence quotes. Or you can just go on Pick Collage, this app, and type in the quote yourself, change the font you want, change the color. That's what I did. This is my recent photos that I look. This is the religion one, self-care, more self-care, early bird, money, boss lady. All of these work. It just depends on the theme you want. Another great tip is just to search any word and then write aesthetic after it. There is always an aesthetic for anything. You can write pink apples aesthetic. So I wrote vlogging aesthetic and here are a bunch of vlogging photos and I just chose one of them. I chose this one. You can also write boss lady aesthetic. More things come up really just need to have fun with it be creative pick out a color scheme pick out just anything that you find attractive to yourself this is just another one love aesthetic and then there's a lot of different love photos that you can pick from another great thing about pinterest is if you like a specific photo you can click on related photos and it'll show you photos that are very similar to the image you like i'm not sure how it works on laptops but I just go on Pinterest on my phone, it's way easier. Here's a screen recording of how it looks like on your phone. With editing my Instagram account and TikTok account to show that I have a million followers or 500 million followers. Take a screenshot of my Instagram. I download the verification tick. You can do this by going on Google and just searching verification tick png or transparent and it will show the logo without any background and the way you know it's transparent is if it has like these boxes around that around the the logo that's how you know it's transparent and then i go on an app called pic collage i use pic collage all the time for thumbnails editing skits whatever i always use pic collage and then i go on pic collage i put the screenshot of my account I put the verification tick next to my username and then I add a text for the font you will be using. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it's in the screen recording right here. Make sure you put a white box around the number so then it covers your actual followers. And that's how I edit the followers. It's very simple. I just think it makes a very big difference because you can actually see on your vision board that you already have that number of followers or subscribers and it really makes it seem more real. Once you have all the photos saved, then the next step is to go print them. You can go to any department store i'm going kmart and it's like 10 cents or 20 cents per image and yeah you just print them it takes two seconds so i went to kmart to print out the photos for the vision board i went to maryland's they ran out of um printing photos so i had to go to a different kmart and i'm hoping that they have them because i meant to be filming the rest of this video tonight turned out so cute let me show you in total i got 41 photos and this costed eight dollars sixty which is pretty cheap they turned out so good i can't wait to show you and i got the canvas i'm gonna just put sticky tape on the back and put them on the canvas because i couldn't find the glue so we're just gonna have to improvise i'm not sure if i needed more or less photos i just thought i'm gonna print a bunch and then whatever fits fits because i love when collages overlap and yes let's go out let's go home so the theme i tried to go for was like pink you can't even see the pink right now <laughs> but like this is pink just like pink i have so many i don't i don't even know if this is gonna fit the canvas but it's fine you can use cardboard paper but i'm gonna use a canvas i'm not sure i'm gonna hang it up yet but let's let's just get started also how cute is this pillow 
I got it from Shein and I bought a lot of things from Shein. So if you guys want to see a haul, let me know. What you'll be needing is a canvas or cardboard, scissors, sticky tape, or if you want glue. And then a bunch of photos and of course your imagination. So here are the photos I have. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting a quote in the center of the canvas like so. Um, I think it's, no, it's not like this one. <laughs> this is my favorite quote. Oh, second favorite quote. I spoke about it in my get ready with me video, but I love this quote. It's a bit, if you can tell, that side's bigger. So I'm going to have to like cut it up to here or something. Okay, I just cut it, but now this part is thick up. <laughs> so, um, mm, let, me, let me do that again. This one's going to be in the center. I'm going to do different categories. Quotes over here. Logos over here. And then I'm going to put like actual photography. So... For instance, this one. This one is here, this one's there. This is another quote, quote, logo. You get the idea. This is going to be one of the main photos I'm gonna put. So this is my TikTok page and I'm manifesting 1 million followers and the verification tick. This is mental health. I couldn't really pick, so this is mental health as well. I'm just gonna play around with it and see how it goes. There's no right or wrong here. You just kind of just throw your goals and passions and dreams onto this canvas and trust in the universe or God for this to happen. A bit stuck between which one I want. This is the two podcast photos that I chose. They're both pretty cute, but I am going towards um, this one. I don't know. I kind of like the greenery and the sign. I'll just put it like... Mm. With the logos, I am going to cut them smaller because they don't need to be that big. It's not the best rectangle, but I think it'll do. I might just put it like that or something. We'll see how it goes. I might put all of the success, like the work stuff, here and then more of the self-care on this side I'm gonna put the 200k subscribers makes sense underneath the camera I think that's cute because it says like that and then I'm looking for the YouTube logo how did it go oh wait I'm looking in the wrong file <laughs> lol oh there we go this is the YouTube logo this one will be on top I really like this one as well boss girl you know I don't know where I should put that I might put that at the top there's a quote I like this one girl boss I like that I cut out the quote what it says is a woman is in control taking charge of her own circumstances in the work and life someone who knows her worth and won't accept anything less that will go right here or maybe somewhere else I'm not sure maybe maybe I'll put it up here and then I'll put a photo of for the girl boss stuff, I have four candidates. There's the money, there's this one, more money. I was thinking the money one because it's not going to really show anyway. I noticed I'm shaking the bed, so I'm going to be standing. I'm going to be putting the money one under here. Oh, I think I like this one here, like that. And then I'm gonna cut out this one and it says early bird because one of my goals for 2023 is to start waking up early. And I'm setting the goal for to start off with 9 a.m. and then 8 a.m. and work from there. If I straight away aim to wake up at 6 a.m., it's not gonna happen because I wake up now at 10, 11. So I'm gonna try 9, 8 and see what happens. What I noticed is I have too many big photos. I should have made them smaller. Like, this is way too big of a logo. <laughs> I might just put this here. I feel like this right side is looking really cute. Move on to the next side. I printed, like, this stuff. This is friendship. I want to start prioritizing friendship this year. You can't really... It's like you manifest this, but it's not really 100%. It's just whatever God wants for you. Um, This is just a cute photo I like. I like what she's wearing. This symbolizes self-care, staying hydrated, you know, taking care of yourself. This symbolizes love. This is Amber Skull. I freaking love her, but I really like this photo, so I'm going to put that as well. This is love, and this is religion. I want to come closer to my religion.
Okay, I cut the Instagram logo and I am going to be putting this over, oh, I don't know, maybe at the top, like that. And then I need to fill up that gap over there. I don't know what to put there. Like that. One more spot. <laughs> I really think that ruins it, that quote. <laughs> I don't know what to put there. I like this there though. I like that one there. Unless I just scoot this over a little bit. Oh, that's easy fix. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I like it. Oh my God. I like it. I like it. I like it. I stuffed up because I should have glued this or put sticky tape before I done it. Because now I'm going to have to do this whole thing again and put sticky tape. But isn't that so cute i am going to put sticky tape and i will be right back word of advice do not use sticky tape for this because it doesn't even work because it keeps falling off now i stuck it a hundred times and it keeps falling off so i'm gonna end up having to glue this anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope this video helped you guys and you enjoyed the process of creating a vision board. I know I did except the sticky tape part, but besides that, I enjoyed it and I wish I started this sooner. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below any suggestions you have. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.